So based on the way that organisms obtain food, their cell structure and the number of cells that they have, all of living organisms can be divided into at least five or seven kingdoms. So according to the five kingdom system, we have a monera, protista, fungi, plantae, animalia. In the seven kingdom system, archaea are separated from bacteria, algae, and some water moles are placed into another kingdom. So the question here is uh, which one among these are microorganisms? To answer this question, we need to go back to the definition of microorganisms. Microorganisms are organisms of microscopic size, meaning they are super, super tiny. And in order to see them, you need to use a microscope. So by that definition, Plants and animals are not microorganisms. Bacteria, archaea, most of algae, unicellular proteins, slime molds, and fungi are microorganisms. I said most of algae because of some algae actually have a very large cell size, like a kelp, which can be seen with our naked eyes. Uh, those are microorganisms. Some fungal species in their life cycle they produce huge fruiting bodies which also can be seen with our naked eyes. However, those fruiting bodies are formed from mycelia and mycelia are microscopic structure and so fungi or fungi are microorganisms. Based on the cell type, you can further divide microorganisms into two groups, eukaryotic microorganisms and prokaryotic microorganisms. So eukaryotic microorganisms have a, a eukaryotic cell type just like uh, plants and animals, prokaryotic microorganisms have a prokaryotic cell type. Viruses. Viruses are very, very tiny, uh, way smaller than prokaryotic and eukaryotic microorganisms. However, they are not living things, so they are not placed under any of this kingdom. The reason that viruses are not considered as living things because they lack cell attributes and most of all they can't reproduce by themselves. So next we will discuss the cell structure of these two cell types. Bacteria cell have a very simple cell structure and eukaryotic microbial cells have a way more complex cell structure. However, they share a few cell components in common which include a cell wall, a cytoplasmic membrane, cytoplasms and ribosomes. The major differences between these two cell types is that for prokaryotic cell their genetic material which is normally a circular double stranded DNA molecule exists freely in the cytoplasm without being bound by any membrane so this is said to be chromosomal DNA and uh, it can, this DNA mass can be referred to as a chromosome and most of bacteria have only one chromosome 
in obviously this type of chromosome doesn't have uh, any defined shape because of having only one chromosome so bacteria are uh, haploid organisms and beside chromosomal DNA many bacteria also have uh, extra chromosomal or genetic material which is also circular and double stranded uh, and is called plasmid right for eukaryotic microorganisms their genetic materials are stored in discrete chromosomes and chromosomes are deposited in nucleus nucleus is protected or is surrounded by nuclear membrane Chromosomes of eukaryotic cells exist in pairs or put it in the other word eukaryotic cells have uh, two complete sets of chromosomes so they are diploid cells which also can be roughly understood that um, eukaryotic cells have two copies of every single gene one, come, one, one copy comes from the father and another copy comes from the mother uh, beside that, beside that um, eukaryotic cells also have many cell organelles which are absent from bacteria cell the cell organelles found in eukaryotic cell are mitochondrion endoplasmic reticulum Golgi, and some photosynthetic microorganisms uh, that also include chloroplast so again the major differences between bacteria and uh, eukaryotic microbial cells is that eukaryotic cells have a nuclear membrane or nucleus uh, which is absent from bacteria cell and eukaryotic cells have uh, cell organelles which are also absent from bacteria cell beside that Bacteria cells are generally way smaller than um, eukaryotic microbial cells and they also carry a significantly less number of genes compared to that of eukaryotic cells.